and whether it's meat and soup, you know, the mpusu and all, they, they enjoy. Go to Bantama, go to wherever. What, what is mpusu? Oh, light soup with meat. Light. So it could be goat meat, it could be uh, bush meat, it could be any kind of you know, soup with meat. And they are buying it. You know, are you therefore suggesting that, let's say, for, for want of a better life in the future when you retire, they should not enjoy themselves, they should not eat and, be, and, and enjoy the meal or, or enjoy their hard labor? They should eat, but they should not eat by heart. You see, um, most of these people you see drinking in groups, the bill is mostly, in most cases, the bill is only on only one person. Mm. It's most hardworking income earners don't sit there to drink. In most cases, they are in the house. It, mostly, the unemployed would want to hang around people, their employed friends, and they do that. So, you watch them closely. It's not as if they do contribution, no job. In most cases, it's only two people or one person in the squad that will foot the bill. Uh, and the person for four, you know, doesn't even have a, a plot of land. Yes. And he's building in people's stomachs. <laughs> look, and the, the pathetic thing is that in the next five years, you look at this, you look around, you can't see these friends. Mm. When they go broke, they don't see anybody. And you can test it. You can just behave like you are broke and just call people that you need 200 Ghana cities. That is when you realize the mistake you are making. Mm. Everybody will go like, I don't have it. And indeed, they don't have it. So, um, once you happen to be a breadwinner or uh, God blesses you and you start earning something, know that when times are hard, nobody would mind you. So, you have to live and live well. And probably... Those that are, are, um, are unable to really be disciplined enough with their monies and save, if you marry, it will also help. <laughs> Your wife can put you in check, especially when you marry an Asante woman. <laughs> <laughs> what about an Asante woman? Oh, yes. They, they like to put you on your toes and make sure that you are putting up properties. Mm. My mom told me that, but I think it's true. Mm. You know, they wouldn't allow you to live anyhow. What you said about a group sitting down oftentimes after close of work to hang out and to chill, unwinding and relaxing. It's true because I remember some years ago, um, it happened where a, a guy was the one who was footing the bill. And there are occasions where the group would sit down and all members of the group would say, Chalemi de Miniska, de Miniska, so he would move his vehicle and then go use his ATM card with the rest of money and come and do some more payment. At one point in time, he got up one day and said, listen, I'm spending unnecessarily. So he takes the ATM card and breaks it into two. From that day till now, he doesn't have an ATM card. Mm -hmm. So that's checked his spending. Yes. But again, there are young men who are listening to us who do not appreciate the fact that those little, little expenses, that lifestyle of theirs, if checked properly, could help them own properties. Not just a property, but properties. We've talked about people who, after close of work, would want to sit down and drink and um, chew meat and... Uh, Stuff like that. But you know, when you're often sitting and you drink, one other thing that comes along is that you don't want to have a woman. Yes. So you have a woman or you have some women in your life and then you take one to a hotel, pay for the hotel room. I peg it at 200 Ghana cities. So when you go to the hotel room, you might also buy some drinks, peg a bottle of whatever drink at let's say, what, 15, 20 Ghana cities. Yes. You might want to eat or because the money is not enough, you, do, you will not eat but the lady would want to eat. So you buy food for the lady. And then when you're done, she's done eating and you do whatever. When she's leaving, you have to give her tea and tea. Yes. So let's say at that very moment, you spend like 500 Ghana cities. So I'm just doing some rough calculations here. So 200 Ghana cities for the room, um, um, 100 cities for the meal and the drinks. It could be more. And then you give her 200 cities for tea and tea. Tea and tea, not necessarily tea and tea. Just a one Yes. So it could be more than 500 Ghana cities. That is big money, isn't it? You have no, you are not even done. Some of them buy condoms and uh, at a very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> you see, <laughs> now you are now narrating the, the yeah. lifestyle of a typical urbanizer. <laughs> 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 so, if you do that, let's say you, three you are, three you are drawing the month. urbanizing budget. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, drawing the urbanizing budget. So, but so you do that like three times or four times a month. That is 2,000 Ghana cities. Yeah. But because it's not a money that you just picked at random, at a go to spend, you might not appreciate it. So, at the spur of the moment, you did 500 one week, 500 another week, 500 another week, and it's like, what, 2,000 uh, 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 2, Ghana cities in a space. Mm. 